Hey guys, Jacob here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve the Tangram Cube. Now, <clears throat> this is a unique puzzle made by the uh, <clears throat> company Diane. Um, it's a very weird looking puzzle uh, and it looks very hard because of all these rand seemingly random uh, line patterns. But I promise this cube is not as scary as it looks. Um, so before I get into the solving it, I'm going to go over the anatomy of it and what puzzle it's related to so you can understand how it works better. So is it a, is it a four, six, eight axis puzzle? Well, it is actually none of those. This is actually a five axis puzzle. It's got two corner turns, three edge turns, and uh, that's it. And it does not shape shift. So this is actually a shape modification of the pentagonal or triangular prism. Um, it's got the same mechanism and all the same types of pieces. And I'm going to actually show you what I mean. I'm gonna take some pieces out of both puzzles. Well, this one's not really wanting to come apart, but I'll just, uh, I'll just compare the pieces. So, inside we have a 5-axis core. You got two, um, three-sided corners, which act as centers. And those correspond to these hidden centers on this puzzle. You've got three uh, two-sided uh, centers, which correspond to these pieces. You got three of these little edges, which correspond to these pieces. You got these big chunky edges, which correspond to these top and bottom edges. And finally, these little triangular pieces are corners and they correspond to these pieces. So with that out of the way, I'm going to put this back together and then get into the solving process. So. Because this is a shape mod of this puzzle, we're going to solve it similarly. So, first we're going to scramble it up. Okay, I think that's pretty scrambled. So, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is solve the middle layer. And what I mean is you got three layers going up like this. And by the way, we're gonna hold the cube in this general orientation, the whole solve. So you got the bottom, middle, and top layers. So we're going to solve these pieces around the equator. And we're gonna do that by just using these three edge turns. And it's gonna be like solving the middle layer on this puzzle. So what you'll wanna do is uh, just pick a piece and then find a piece that goes next to it. So I'm gonna start with this red white center um, I see a white piece right here, so we're going to move it around and pair it up. And then we're going to find the blue piece, which is right here. Rotate that and then pair it up. 
and then you'll want to rotate this other side so that way these edges these little edges are in the right places and at this point they will either be solved or two of them will be flipped and if two of them are flipped you want to hold them in the back like this and do this algorithm and that will uh, that will fix them so the algorithm is, uh, let's see, I'm just going to call this L, this R, and this B. So it's L, R, L, R, B, R, B, R, L, R, L, R, B, R, B, R. So... Next up is uh, we're gonna solve these big chunky edges. And we're gonna do so by using a mixture of edge and corner turns. So we're gonna start with this layer. We're gonna solve two of them and leave the third one open as a buffer. So first got this red blue one. We're gonna bring it up, move it over and then bring this back so you want to preserve the middle layer and then we're going to solve the red yellow one move it up bring it over and bring it back now we're actually going to take this out like that so this slot is open and we're going to use this to solve the top layer so we have the green white one down here you want to bring it up to its green white spot, move it out of the way, and bring it back. Now, the next step after this would be to solve the uh, little uh, triangular pieces, but in this case, we got lucky and skipped that step. So I'm actually going to mess up these pieces and um, show you how to solve that step. So, um, there we go. We're gonna solve uh, these triangular pieces. And first thing you wanna do is get it so that you have two solved on one layer and we already have orange right here, so we're gonna insert either the white one or the green one. We'll go and do the green one, and so you'll want to, uh, there's a three cycle algorithm that you'll need to know, and it cycles this one with this one and this one or this one, depending on which one you use, so. We're actually going to do white and uh, so this piece is going to go here to the spot below it this one is going to go here and this one is going to go here so for that reason you'll want to get the one that goes down here above it and then do the algorithm R U R U prime R and then do a D move. R, U, R, U prime, R, again. Yep, and now that you've gotten two on one layer, you're gonna use this top, you're gonna use this other one as a buffer and put this layer on the top. Move the slot that this piece goes into down here, do that three cycle. And now we're going to do this three cycle, which is the same, but instead of a D prime, you do a D. And then just adjust the D face, and that is how you solve it. So um, this puzzle's fairly simple. You only need a 
couple algorithms to know it. And uh, I think that's uh, all there is to the solve. Um, it's the most straightforward way in my opinion. Now, I hope this tutorial helped you solve your Tangram cube. Uh, please check out my Etsy store in the description. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.